Happy Friday and welcome to your morning Kairos. This week we're going to be focusing in on kind of the spiritual battle of life and why it is so important that we lean into the Holy Spirit to guide us and walk us through our daily moments of life. And with that we're going to be looking into Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 and 17. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the spirit wants. And the spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. Those two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. I think sometimes as Christians when we were walking through life we just kind of we get to a point where we feel like we've grown enough in faith that instantly or or something like that that we come to this point where we think most of our decisions are just instantaneously Christ-like they're led by the Spirit and we're making the right or good decision whether they're spiritual decisions or not what Paul seems to be revealing here, though, is it's a lot more complex and messy than that. Like, even if we are dead set following Christ, walking in his very footsteps every single step of the way, there's still this inner spiritual battle be going on between our own selfish, sinful will versus the Holy Spirit's will for our lives. And that tension leads us to sometimes need to necessarily question our own intentions. That we're not just doing what we want, but we're doing what the Holy Spirit wants. So with that, I want to give you some time to practice kind of two disciplines today, both confession and reflection. So with that, I'm going to give you this time of silence uh, to reflect on these two questions. What sinful desires do you have? And then secondly, what spirit-guided desires do you have? I think it's very important that we take some time to try to identify those. Well, I hope that was a good and fruitful time for you just to be able to identify not only what sinful desires you might still be struggling with, but also what spirit-guided desires you have been given as you walk in faith. I think that's such an important discipline for us to get down and to regularly look at and examine ourselves in. And as we move through life uh, from here on out, as we continue to try to keep in step with what the Spirit is doing for us and to, to focus in on that. Obviously, we're still going to face that internal battle of wanting to choose our sinful desires. So with that, I just want to leave you with this very simple uh, breath prayer that just says, Holy Spirit, come. And my challenge to you and to myself is when we encounter those sinful desires that want to take charge, that want to redirect us, that we instead turn to the Spirit. We invite the Spirit in through that simple little prayer, Holy Spirit come, and try to live on that path of righteousness and living and leading by the Spirit. But with that, thank you for watching. 
and I hope you have a great day.